For children with diabetes, the day can be very, very long, and sometimes the night even longer. Diabetes not only affects the child, but parents and other family members as well. Constant monitoring, special diets, and the worries that come when your child is away from home never ends. A day in the life of a child with diabetes isn't easy, but with the help of loved ones and a community that's educated in this disease, they won't ever have to face it alone. According to the Centers for Disease Control, one in three children born in 2011 will develop diabetes in their lifetime. The American Diabetes Association is working to reverse this staggering statistic. I've been a pediatrician in this community for now uh, a proud 26 years. Here in Brownsville, um, both type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes um, were much more prevalent than where I trained, and especially in, in young people. Uh, type 2 diabetes in young people became um, such an alarming thing as I became more mature in my profession. Well, of course, as a pediatrician, I see both. But by far more common is type 2 um, because of our incredible rates of obesity in this community. And type 2 is the one that's associated with obesity and, and malnutrition, if you will. Um, alarmingly, we know that the ones that go undiagnosed are the younger type 2 diabetics, perhaps because they don't have access to care. Um, but we know that the population in Brownsville has um, two and a half times the rates of type 2 diabetes than anywhere along the border. Um, so it's, um, it's an amazing amount of the number of young people that we see with type 2. Um, type 1, because of the abruptness and because it hits a family like a lightning bolt, um, it's much harder to completely ignore uh, because you got to do something about it. Uh, it's an emergent, life-threatening situation that doesn't give you much time to deny. Until hope came into the picture, there were, were no support groups. In a community that has this prevalence of diabetes, there were no support groups for individuals with diabetes. We were in the infancy of prevention and education and, and basically, I think the, the name hope is the right word because um, they, they, they did say this, this is about empowerment, this is about outreach, this is about prevention, this is about education. And I think that defines it in every single way. For a child using insulin, diabetes must be managed 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including the many hours spent at school on field trips and participating in extracurricular activities. The school nurse is vital in coordinating and providing diabetes care at school. She also has the responsibility and training to implement the student's individual diabetes care plan. Diabetes, when properly managed, should never prevent a child from succeeding in or outside of the classroom. By supporting Hope for Kids with Diabetes, we can raise awareness in parents and teachers to help them understand the importance of exercise and healthy living lesson plans. My name is Tomas and I'm nine years old. If I could only have one wish, it would be for a cure for diabetes. Sometimes my diabetes bag gets in the way but I need it to carry my logbook, glucose tabs, glucose meter strips, and other supplies. I'm not afraid of my diabetes, but I sure wish I didn't have it. With your help, our kids will have hope until they find a cure.